Good evening. There's been a terrible disaster in Edmonton. Tornadoes ripped through the city this afternoon, killing at least 30 people. Three of them died when a train was blown over. More people were killed when a tornado flattened a trailer park. At least 100 people are being treated in hospital tonight. And there are fears even more people are trapped in collapsed buildings. The tornadoes touched down in several areas, leaving a trail of destruction behind them. Kelly McLugan reports. The storm hit Edmonton just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Within minutes, the reports are pouring in. Tornadoes. The first touches down in Mill Woods on Edmonton's south side. It stretches for blocks, sweeping northward along 50th Street. The tornado touches down again, flattening an industrial park. Well, we saw the tornado coming in from the south. Saw the power line shaking. We were watching from the shop and uh, from the doors of the shop. We heard a sound. It was just like a freight train. And uh, I had everybody move right to the center of the building. There's a concrete block portion in the center of it. And, uh, and we moved everybody into that area and into the center portion of the office and went right through. And I was sitting there. And then all of a sudden, I could see daylight. And the whole roof, just everything disappeared. Next, the tornado hit the Sherwood Park Freeway where rush hour had come early, thanks to the upcoming long weekend. Well, I just went through it. I went, just went, I drove through the tornado, that's all, and it didn't flip my car. It just, I made it through, and then I seen people all over the place, dead, and bodies, and houses torn, and this. Wow. <laughs> And right now, we're concerned with the people that are in immediate danger. And we have the area blocked off for now, moving as many spectators back as we can. We have found pockets of people that were trapped and uh, have rescued them. They're out now. But we're right now, again, looking for people. That... And the rescue officials aren't alone. On the southeast edge of the city, where the tornado first hit, Residents stand surrounded by devastation. One of those is Dale Campbell, who was on his way home from work. So I'm coming home to go home here in Mill Woods, and I got caught right in the tornado. Um, there was houses flying across 23rd Avenue, trucks flying across. Um, I got out of my truck to help people and got thrown 30 feet across into a field. And when I got up, um, there were people laying all over the place, so we picked up a couple of, of bodies, injured people with food hardly any faces left and put them in the back of my truck and, and took them out to the ambulances on, on the Sherwood Park Freeway. And all over the southeast end of town, the story was the same. All we saw is the big, the wind touched down and I rounded my family up and took them down the basement. Did you hear anything down in the basement? Oh, Christ, I heard everything down. We were scared silly. I mean, everything was coming off the house, and then we heard a big bang coming off this next door, I guess, when the roof came off. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do. Where'd you go? Down in the basement where cement was, underneath the stairs. Did you hear anything? Yeah. What did it sound like? Is this your place? I thought it was. <laughs> what, uh, what happened? Well, uh... It was just a tornado, I guess, but the funnel came dead square right on the roof of the house, dropped right down on top, and lifted the whole roof right off, and then dropped down on the fence behind, and you could see the fence is all gone, and then it just headed straight towards that farmer's house and all those trees, and all we saw was the trees being all uprooted, and his house just disappeared. Six miles south in Beaumont, barns were blown off their foundations. Their occupants scattered throughout the fields. Ever seen anything like this in your life? No, I've never seen a truster before. I tell you, it's one hairy experience to have to look at the sucker. Those not caught in the path of the tornado captured it on film. These pictures were taken by amateur photographers, and these taken by a government employee out of a window of Edmonton's weather office. At least 100 people have been taken to hospital, but it's too early yet for accurate estimates of the dead and the injured. Kelly McLugan, CBC News, Edmonton.